Hello children today i will explain you last exercise of algebraic expressions and identities chapter but before starting the exercise i will explain you some identities which you have to use to solve the questions of this exercise now see the identity here i am showing proof of the identities first you see what is identity and identity is an equality which is true for all values of variables okay now you see the first identity a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square now see the proof of this identity one here we will write a plus b whole square a plus b whole square means here a plus b into a plus b we can write it like this now we will multiply it as we have done multiplication earlier here a plus b and a plus b both are binomials now we will multiply it a into a a square a into b here plus and ab now this plus sign we will put we will multiply this b and a here b a will come plus plus here plus and b into b b square now in this step we are getting here a square plus ab plus b a plus b a square now we will write it in a proper form here for b a we can write ab because b a is equals to ab now a square plus ab plus ab plus b is square now we can add this ab and ab so what we will write in the next step for ab plus ab we will write here 2ab so the next step will be a square plus 2ab plus b square so here a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square now see the proof of identity 2 here identity 2 is a minus b whole square is equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square here a minus b square whole square we will write and this a minus b whole square we can write like this also a minus b into a minus b means we can write a minus b two times now we'll start multiplications of these two binomials here first we will write this a and this a in minus b we will multiply both a into a minus b then minus b into a minus b now we will multiply it a into a a square minus a into b ab then minus b into a minus b a because here plus now minus and minus we multiply we get here plus and b into b b square now a square minus ab minus ab we can write for ba plus b square now here minus ab and minus ab these two are like terms so next step will be a square minus 2ab for this minus ab minus ab we will write minus 2ab plus b square now like this we can show that a minus b whole square is equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square now see the proof for identity 3 identity 3 is a plus b into a minus b is equals to a square minus b square now see the proof of this identity 3 here a you will write and then 
this a you will multiply by a minus b okay and then plus b you will write and plus b into a minus b here you will write okay now we will solve this left hand side like this a into a a square then a into b a b here plus minus minus then plus b into a plus b a now plus b into minus b here minus b square you will get and then a square minus a b plus a b plus a b you will write for this b a because both are equal and then minus b square now this minus a b and this plus a b you will solve then you will get zero or you can cut it like this the right hand side is coming a square minus b square like this you can prove the third identity a plus b into a minus b is equals to a square minus b square now see the identity 4 here the identity 4 is x plus a into x plus b is equals to x square plus a plus b whole multiplied by x plus ab here to prove this identity first we will write x plus a into x plus b now first we will write this x and then we multiply this x with this x plus b okay then we will write this plus a and then this plus a we will multiply with this x plus b now we will do multiplication your x into x x square plus sign we will put x into b bx plus a into x ax plus plus here plus and a into b ab now in the next step x square we will write then plus sign here bx and ax both are like terms and we can see here x is common x is as x is common in both so x we will take outside the bracket in the bracket we will write this b and this a then this plus ab we will write here so the right hand side will be x square plus a plus b whole multiply by x plus ab this is the proof of identity four now we will start exercise 9.5 here the first question is use a suitable identity to get each of the following product here the first part of question 1 is x plus 3 into x plus 3 here we can write 4x plus 3 and into x plus 3 x plus 3 whole square okay now we will see which identity can be used here here we can see it is in the form of a plus b whole square okay so this identity we will write here since a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square now here x we will take as a and 3 we will take as b so here a square means here x square plus b square here 3 square okay here a square is x square and b square is 3 square and in the middle plus 2ab so plus 2 what is a here x and what is b here 3 so the step will be x square plus 2 into x into 3 plus 3 is square now in the next step for this we will write x square 
टू थ्री जार सिक्स एंड दिस एक्स प्लस थ्री स्क्वायर फॉर दिस वी विल राइट नाइन लाइक दिस यू विल फाइंड द प्रोडक्ट यूजिंग सुटेबल आइडेंटिटी नाउ सी द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर वन क्या क्वेश्चन इज टू ए माइनस सेवन इंटू टू ए माइनस सेवन क्या दिस सेम बायोनॉमियल इज रिटर्न टू टाइम्स सो फॉर दिस वी कैन राइट यर टू ए माइनस सेवन होल स्क्वायर ओके नाउ वी कैन सी दैट इट इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर सो वॉट इज ए हियर ए इज टू ए एंड वॉट इज बी हियर बी इज सेवन ओके नाउ वी विल यूज दिस आइडेंटिटी टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन हियर ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल्स टू ए स्क्वायर माइनस टू ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर नाउ you can see you have written here a square in bracket this a square what you have written 2a whole square so 2a whole square means what 2 square a square so for 2 square you will write 4 and here a square and here for b square you have written plus 7 square now minus 2 ab so minus 2 ab means what is a a is here 2a and what is b here d is 7 so your product is 4a square minus 28a how 2 to the 4 4 7 28 28 28 plus 7 square means what 40 Nine seven seven zero forty nine. Now see the fourth part of first question. Three a minus one upon two into three a minus one upon two. Here you can see these two binomials are two times. So we can write it like. 3a minus 1 by 2 whole square, and here we can see we can use a minus b whole square. Now here we will use a minus b whole square. For this, a square first. So what is a is 3a square. So here we will write 3a square. Okay, a 3a square. Now for this b square, we will write this. One by two whole square. Okay, one by two here whole square. Now minus two ab here. This for this minus two ab minus we will put here minus. Then a. What is a here? This three a. Okay, and what is b here? B is one by two. B is one by two, which we will write here. Okay, so a square minus two ab plus b square. Now you can see your this is step three a whole square minus two into three a into one by two plus one by two whole square is in the form of a square minus two ab plus b square. We can solve it more. For 3a whole square, we can write 9a square. You know how? Because 3a square and a square. If you solve it, what will come? 3a square, a square. So for 3a square, we can write 9, and this a square we will write. And here 2 1 2, 2 1 2, 2, 2. After doing this, here what will remain? Only 3a and Here yeah, we will put minus sign, then plus sign we will put, and one by two whole square 
for this we will write 1 upon 4 because 1 upon 2 square means 1 square upon 2 square. So 1 square means what? 1 and 2 square means what? 2 into 2 what? 4. So the product of these two binomials is 9a square minus 3a plus 1 by 4. Like this you can use suitable identity for your question. Now see the fifth part of the same question. Question is 1.1m minus 0 0.4 1.1m plus 0.4. Here you will use this identity a minus b into a plus b is equals to a square minus b square. You know why you will use this identity? Because your expression is in this form only. Here a minus b into a plus b. So you can use this identity only to solve the question. So here what is a in this question? Here a is 1.1m and what is b in this question? b is 0 0.4. Now we will write the given binomials in the form of a square minus b square. So in the next step for a square we will write this 1.1 m square and for b square this b square we will write this 0 0.4 square. Now here when you will solve 1.1 m whole square then you will get a square on both 1.1 square and m square and 1.1 square means what? 1.1 into 1.1. Students when you multiply 11 by 11 you get 121. But here you are multiplying 1.1 into 1.1. So you will put decimal also. So your answer will be 1.21 m square. Then minus and for 0.4 square. Here 0.4 square means what? 0.4 into 0.4. What will come here? 0.16. So the result of the multiplication of these two binomials on the basis of this identity is 1.21 m square minus 0 0.16. Now students see the sixth part of question number one. It is a square plus b square into minus a square plus b square. First we will write in the first step a square plus b square into b square minus a square. You can see what I have done. b square I have written first and then I have written minus a square. Now in the next step here b square we will write first and then a square we will write after it. Okay. So now you can see b square plus a square and b square minus a square is coming in this step. Now I think it is clear why we have changed their places. Now it is in the form of the identity a plus b into a minus b. Okay. Here a plus b into a minus b. So here what is a? In this step, in this step, a is b square and what is b? b is a square. Now, we will solve the next step on the basis of this identity. As a plus b 
into a minus b is equals to a square minus b square. So for a square we will write here b square whole square. You know why? Because b square is a. So b square whole square. Then minus sign we will put. Clear? After that we will write b square. So what is b here? b is here a square. So square is also there. So here we will write a square whole square. Clear? So b square whole square means what? b to the power 4. In exponent and powers you have learned this law a to the power n whole to the power m is equals to a to the power n into m. Same thing here you will do. So b to the power 4 will come then minus sign a square whole square what you will get here a to the power 4. Now see the seventh part of this question. Here, seventh part is minus a plus c into minus a plus c. Okay, we can see that both are same. Okay, and it is written two times. So, we can write it like this also, minus a plus c whole square. Now, we can say that it is in the form of a plus a plus b whole square. So, it is clear that we can use this identity a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now, we will use the identity. Uh, what is a? What is a? a is equals to minus a. And what is b in identity? Here b is equals to c. So first we will write a square and b square. Here a is equals to minus a. So here we will write minus a square. And then b square. So b is equals to c. So here we will write b is, uh, c square. Now plus 2ab. Then for this plus 2ab what we will write here? plus 2 and what is a here? a is here minus a and what is b here? b is here c clear? now we will solve this step for minus a square we can write a square because minus a square means what? minus a into minus a what will come here? a square and when we multiply 2 into minus a into c. Here minus 2ac will come. Okay. Because minus and this minus and this plus minus will get here. And plus c square we will write here. So the product of these two binomials on the basis of this identity is a square minus 2ac plus c square. Now see the ninth part of question number 1. Here also you can see the same monomial, binomial two times. Okay. Here x by 2 plus 3y upon 4. And again you can see the same x upon 2 plus 3y <coughs> upon 4. So here also we will write it x upon 2, 3y upon 4 whole square. Okay. Now we can see it is in the form of a plus b whole square. Clear? Here we will mention the identity a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now we will use this identity. First we will see what is a in the question. In the question a is x upon 2. 
and what is b in this step b is 3y upon 4 now this x upon 2 plus 3y upon 4 whole square we will write in the form of identity now first we will write this a square okay what is a here a is x upon 2 okay so x upon 2 we will write in a bracket and then we will put this square and students you will keep this thing in your mind that you will write x upon 2 in a bracket okay otherwise if you will write x square upon 2 then you will not do the square of 2 and your answer will be wrong now after writing a square from this binomial square square of binomial now plus 2ab we have to write but before writing this 2ab we will write this b square so what is b here b is 3y upon 4 so here we have to write b square so we will write 3y upon 4 in a bracket and then we will put a square now plus 2ab we have to write for this plus 2ab 2 we will write from here 2 and what is a a is x upon 2 so here we will write x upon 2 and what is b b is 3y upon 4 so here we will write 3 upon 3y upon 4 now we will solve this step x upon 2 whole square means what x is x square upon 2 square clear and here 2 into x upon 2 into 3y upon 4 we will write from this step plus 3y upon 4 whole square what we can write here 3y whole square means what 3 square y square we will write and for 4 we will write 4 square now for the next step here x square we will write upon for 2 square we will write 4 plus 2 one two 2 one two 1 will come here 1 into x into 3y what will come here 3xy and upon 4 so this the term will be 3 upon 4 xy and then plus sign and here for 3 square y square we will write 9y square upon for 4 square what we will write 16 because 4 into 4 16 so the product of these two given binomials is x square upon 4 plus 3 upon 4 xy plus 9y square upon 16 Dear students, now today only this much. Next questions I will start in the next part of the video. Thank you.